so excited to look at while reading. I just think I'm just so excited for this book, so. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with some more newly released highly anticipated books for me that I have received from some publishers. I have eight books here that I thought I would share with you guys before I put them on my shelf so I can begin my reading. These have all been released already as far as I am aware except for one, the last book. So I'm going to go in order of release dates. The first two books are from September 2021. The next books are October and the last book is from November. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> the first book that I have is Act Cool by Tolby McGuire. This book follows August Green, who is an aspiring actor. He just got a spot at a prestigious acting school in New York. The only problem is, is that his conservative parents do not agree with the fact that he is transgender. And they have told him that if he wishes to stay with his aunt in New York, then he is not allowed to transition. August is convinced that he will have no problem following their rules as long as he can be himself with his newfound friends but then he gets a role in one of the productions that hits a little bit close to home and it's like the story of him finding his light and finding his truth. This is the author of Stay Gold which I have heard nothing but good things about so I am definitely intrigued by this. I also just really enjoy the cover and like the color schemes of it. I'm here for a pink and purple colorway but I think that this will definitely be a very hard-hitting young adult novel, so I am excited. Next up, I received White Smoke by Tiffany D. Jackson. This is like perfect timing because it is spooky season. It says that it's a modern take on the classic haunted house story, and we all know that I am a self-proclaimed thriller queen, so I am definitely excited to pick this one up very soon. I read Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson a while ago. I think that that was the first Tiffany D. Jackson book that I've read, and I fell in love with her writing style, so I am definitely intrigued to see what this one is all about, and this is another one that I have heard nothing but great things about so perfect timing for the spooky season we're gonna get to this one pretty soon. Next I have In Beta by Prescott Harvey and this one sounds really cool. This takes place in 1993. It follows Jay and Colin who are very unpopular at their school until they find a floppy disk called The Build and it is a pixel perfect replica of their town and they quickly realize that they are able to manipulate this game and in reality, the things that they manipulate end up changing. So it's basically the story of them changing the code for their own high school experience and becoming like cool and popular, but things obviously are going to go wrong. And it's like the story of that. It says that this would be good for fans of video games, cyberpunk, mystery thrillers, and stranger things. I feel like it'll be a lot of fun. I think I'll probably save this for after spooky season is over because I'm trying to read a bunch of spooky books so that I can make a spooky book video. Next book I have is actually the one that I am reading right now and I am obsessed with it. It is Reprieve. This is by James Hand Matson. I am pretty much done this book. I'm on page 317 of 403. I don't know how many people have heard of McCammy Manor. It's a full contact haunted house in like Alabama right now, I think. It's been shut down so many times it keeps getting moved. If you don't know what McCammy Manor is, just Google it or look up YouTube videos. It is insane. But this is basically just McCammy Manor in a book. It's all about a full contact haunted house called Quigley House. The object of this house is to complete six different cells. If you are able to complete all six cells without saying the safe word reprieve, you end up winning a cash prize. Very similar to McCammy Manor, okay? This follows four different points of views of all people who are going through this house and one of these contestants end up being killed and it's kind of the story about how all of these people are connected in some way and the mystery behind what happened leading up to this person's death. It is so stinking good and spooky and just like such Halloween-y vibe. I just have this weird fascination with McCammy Manor, so when I found a book that is literally just McCammy Manor, like, 
it's like the perfect book for me. I will say that it is a little bit slow getting into it, but you kind of just need to keep reading because you need to figure out what the heck is going on. It was the same way when I discovered my Cami Manor. I went down a rabbit hole and needed to know more about it because I was like, what the heck is going on at this place? That's the same feeling with this. It is like, whew, whew, just pick it up because it's worth it. Next up, I have uh, The Fallen Girls. This is by Haley Krischer. This follows two best friends, Shade and Jadis. They are pretty much inseparable until Shade decides to join the cheerleading team. And this kind of throws Jadis for a loop because it is everything that they despise. So Jadis becomes a little bit jealous of the head cheerleader when Shade and her begin spending a lot more time together. And then she ends up dead. And Shade is very concerned because she knows Jadis and Jadis may be behind what happened to this head cheerleader. And it's like the story of this toxic friendship and the mystery behind if Jadis was actually the one who committed the crime. And it just seems like it's gonna be a really great thriller read and I am ready for it. Next up is one that I've actually already talked about because I received an ARC and then the publisher ended up sending me a finished copy when it was released, so I'm just gonna briefly talk about it, but it is Fairy Man by Claire McFall. This is a story about a girl named Dylan who ends up dying in a car crash one day and she wakes up at the riverside and there is a fairy man there named Tristan who is charged with needing to take her over the river to the afterlife. And then Dylan and Tristan start a romance and it's like the story of that paranormal romance situation. I'm a big fan of mythology, so I am very intrigued by this. I have heard a couple of people talk about it and they seem to enjoy the book, so I'm excited. It is also fairly short, so I feel like I'll be able to read it very quickly when I'm in that romance mood. Next up, I have a book that when I opened this package, I freaked out. I did a happy dance. I was so excited because as soon as I heard about this book, I knew that I needed it in my life, but it is Little Thieves by Margaret Owens. This is a Goose Girl retelling. I am so intrigued with this book. It also came with really, really, really pretty artwork that like is gorgeous. Like, do you see this beautiful, gorgeous, majestic, artwork. I am so excited to read this book. I think that it sounds so cool. It follows a girl named Vanja who is a goose girl and she ends up stealing the face of a princess and she ends up getting cursed by a god because she's stealing jewels from them and the god does not appreciate that. The curse ends up being that she is going to slowly turn to jewels limb by limb and she has two weeks to break this curse and figure out how to do that and I just think that it sounds so cool and I actually received a graphic novel version of the first chapter and ever since since then, I've been even more intrigued by this book, so I am so stinking excited to actually pick this up and read it, and it just seems so cool. There's also artwork throughout the whole book as well, which I am so excited to look at while reading. I just think I'm just so excited for this book, so. And then the last book that I have, which is the one book that is coming out November 2021, it is The Grim Rose Girls. This is by Laura Full. This is said to be Pretty Little Liars meets The Descendants, and it follows a group of girls who attend Grim Rose Academy. Their best friend Ella turns up dead. It is deemed a suicide, but these girls do not believe that this is the case, and so it's them trying to figure out what happened to Ella. They then discover that she is not the first girl to turn up dead at this academy, and that all the previous deaths have something to do with fairy tales in some way. If you are not new to this channel, you know that I am a big fan of fairy tale retellings, so when I heard about this book, I was like, need it. I instantly <laughs> reached out to the publisher and was like, please, please send me a copy of this book. I need it in my life. And they actually did. So I was super excited when it arrived in my mailbox and I will be reading this very shortly. I feel like this is another one that is pretty on par for the spooky season time. So I'm here for it. I'm gonna read it and I'm so, so excited. All right, everybody. So those were the books that I received lately from publishers. I am 
so stinking excited about so many of these and I'm going to be reading them ASAP. So definitely stay tuned for those wrap ups because I am so intrigued by so many of these. But let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.